Jessie here. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. For today's video, I'm going to be talking about all of my favorite things that I have been using and loving over the last month or so. Um, I've been trying to film these videos monthly. You guys seem to really like them. I love sharing my favorite products, my favorite trends, different things like that. Um, just takes me back to old school YouTube. I say this every month. Favorites videos used to be my favorite. So not very many people do them anymore. And it seems like the people that do them are just doing them to try to sell you something. They're putting their links in the description box to make a commission. And there's nothing wrong with that. No shade to anyone who does that for sure. Like YouTube's hard work. You should earn your coins if you can. But I don't know, it just feels a little bit less um, sitting down with your friend hearing about their favorite products than it does like a sales pitch these days. So I'm going to share with you some of the things that I've been loving this last month. And there's no commission happening. I'm going to link the products that I talk about down below. There's no affiliate links. Um, there's a couple of links that I keep in my description box all the time that m might earn me a little bit of something. Um, I'm not affiliated with any products, um, and especially none of these things specifically that I'm talking about today am I going to make any money off of, but there's like a join Weight Watchers link in my description box all the time that can save you a little money and I get, um, a free month if someone signs up and maintains their membership for so long, you know, that type of thing. Um, but I'm not sitting down filming this video showing you these things so that you will click the links and buy them and I will earn money. Does that make sense? Um, my first favorite thing that I want to talk about is not really a specific thing at all. It's just wearing less makeup. You can see I'm not wearing makeup today. My skin is far from flawless, but we are moving into warmer weather here in Southeast Michigan. Um, it, right now we're in that kind of like period of time where you're either going to get 80 degrees or you're going to get like 40 degrees. But I've been spending more and more time outside with camping trips on the weekends, soccer games for my youngest son, um, just being out because the weather has been warmer and I gotta say doing it without wearing makeup is just so nice. Um, I get out and I'm like taking a walk, taking my dog Maple for a walk or working out in the shed to clean things out. We've been working very slowly on getting, um, the outside of our home kind of cleaned and while doing that, there is nothing worse than having like makeup caked all over your face and having it just like sweating off. So I have been wearing less and less makeup. You guys know if you've been watching any of my favorites videos that I don't wear a ton of heavy makeup anyway, but even like lightweight foundations and stuff, I am not loving those. Um, it's basically just been, you know, moisturizer and sunscreen on my face. A lot of times I will fill in my eyebrows because as you can see, they are very, very sparse and not super cute. Um, but I didn't even do that today. I'm just loving the freedom of not wearing makeup, embracing my skin. I'm going to be 40 this year. I don't necessarily look, um, you know, peaches and cream, like super smooth or anything. But uh, the older I get, the easier it is for me to kind of accept that and, um, when it's warmer outside, it's just not comfortable to be wearing a ton of stuff on my face. So that's been my first favorite, just kind of embracing my natural skin. Um, obviously, wearing sunscreen, that's super, super important. You should be wearing sunscreen every single day, winter, spring, summer, fall. And that's something that I have tried to adopt over the last few years. I wish it was something I had done sooner because maybe I wouldn't have quite so much sun damage on my face now. Even so, um, that's my first favorite, just kind of being barefaced and beautiful. All right, now let's talk about some actual physical things. There's a lot of food in today's video. Um, if you're not familiar with my videos and you just kind of stumbled across this 
video today. Um, hi, I'm Jessie. Welcome to my channel. But also know that I am on a weight loss journey. Um, I have been morbidly obese my entire adult life. Um, I have gone on many a weight loss journey. This is just the latest one. Um, but I found some things this last month or so that have kind of helped me. With the weight loss thing, if you're interested in weight loss videos, definitely subscribe. I do weekly weigh-ins every Tuesday. Um, I share what I eat. I'm doing a combination of Weight Watchers and counting calories, which is something I've been loving. But these are some products that I found this last month. They're not new products. Um, well, I guess some of them are, but mostly they're just new to me. This is the Zero Sugar Sweet Tea from Pure Leaf. And I was so excited when I saw this in my grocery store. I love the Pure Leaf Extra Sweet Tea, but I don't drink it anymore because it's so high in calories. So when I saw this, it is made with sucralose, which super excites me because um, drinks that are made with aspartame give me ocular migraines. So I can't have a lot of aspartame and that's what most um, diet sodas and zero sugar s beverages are made with, that artificial, artificial sweetener um, aspartame. And I just, I can't take it. So when I saw that it was made with sucralose, it's zero calories, it's delicious, super, super sweet. Um, I was super excited because this is something that I can use. Um, you know, I, I try to drink a lot of water on my weight loss journey, but sometimes you just need something else. Most of the time I'm reaching for a Diet Right Soda, which is an all-time favorite because that's also um, made with sucralose. And it's, you know, zero sodium, zero caffeine, zero everything, and it still tastes really great. Um, but now I have another option. Now, I told you guys I can't take aspartame in large doses. I can have it as long as I'm mindful of it. I'm not drinking a ton of it every single day. Um, when I saw this Dr. Pepper creamy coconut, I had to give this a try. I absolutely love Dr. Pepper. I absolutely love coconut. So two of my favorite things combined. Yes, this is made with aspartame, so I have to be careful. I try to just drink like one of these, one or two of these a week. Um, this is delicious. If you like coconut, you will love this. If you like coconut and you like Dr. Pepper, because that's exactly what it is. It is a very strong, like, forward note of coconut, and then you get that aftertaste of Dr. Pepper, and it's like a match made in heaven. This is new. It's also limited edition, I think, for summertime, so it's not going to be around forever. If you're a coconut fan, I highly recommend that you give this a try. Let's go ahead and just knock out the rest of the, like, food items so that I can move on to some non-food items, although there's not a ton of them this time around. I don't like to pick things and show them as favorites just for the sake of the video. If I don't have a ton of favorites, I'm just going to show you the couple of things I'm really into, and that's kind of what happened with this video today. Um, protein bars. I tried out multiple different types and flavors of protein bars in the last month or two, and my two favorites are the Built Bars, especially the Puffs, and the Quest Bars. So my youngest son is very big into weightlifting. He is always trying to get more protein, and I took him to a supplement store so that he could buy... Um, well, for one, he wanted to buy some pre-workout, but then he also was looking at protein bars. And we tried out the Built Puffs and really, really like them. These are not inexpensive. Um, I know that there are certain like coupon codes that you can use on the Built website. Um, their shipping is super slow in this day and age with um, Amazon, you're used to like two day shipping. If you order from Built, expect to wait like a week to 10 days. Um, so a lot of times I'll just buy them in store to make it easier. Um, but yeah, they're pretty expensive, but they are delicious. Again, 
as I was just saying, I absolutely love coconut. So my favorite have been the built, both the built bars in the coconut and the built puffs in the coconut flavor. Um, my son really, really likes these um, brownie batter puffs. He, he's not a big fan of the bars. I think it's a texture thing for him, um, but he does like the puffs. So that's pretty much what I've been buying, mostly for him, but also for me, because they are delicious. Um, in terms of macros, this um, brownie batter puff is, let's see, 140 calories, um, 14 grams of carbs, if you're interested in that, 17 grams of protein. So not terrible. I like to have a protein bar and a banana either first thing in the morning on my way to work or as like a midday snack, just depending on my schedule. And I've really been enjoying the Built Bars lately and the Quest Bars. Now, my son doesn't like the Quest Bars at all. He doesn't like the texture of them. Um, I don't mind the texture and I really, really like some of the flavors. So I started out by buying the big variety pack um, on Amazon just so that I could try a bunch of different flavors and kind of figure out my favorite. And I have landed on the chocolate chip cookie dough being my absolute favorite. Um, you can buy these in grocery stores. You can also buy them online. They're also not inexpensive. I think protein bars in general are just pricier. This particular one is 190 calories per bar, uh, 21 grams of protein. And um, I really like the chocolate chip cookie dough ones, especially because the texture of the Quest bars um, is sort of like the texture of unbaked cookie dough. If you've ever um, seen that, it's sort of got that texture. So that in combination with like the chunks of chocolate in here is just like delicious. Um, I, I like some of the other ones too, the cookies and cream ones, the s'mores ones. Um, but the chocolate chip cookie dough is definitely my favorite. And I really, really like the Quest chips as well. If you've ever had those, they're great for a little bit of crunch and some extra protein on like a taco salad. Um, I haven't had much success with the Quest shakes. I really like the um, Premier Protein Shakes, which brings me to another favorite. Um, this flavor, the cookie dough flavor of the Premier Protein. I'm always trying to get in extra protein. It helps to keep me full longer. Um, I like to mix the protein shakes with my coffee in the morning and do like an iced protein coffee. I'm sure you've seen a lot of people do that. It's not a new original idea for sure, but it's delicious. Or again, sometimes I'll just have this like in the middle of the day when I need a little boost. Um, they're 30 grams of protein, 160 calories. So I've really been liking this flavor. I will say though, um, my absolute favorite protein shakes are the Equate ones from Walmart. They're like the knockoff version of the Premier Protein, the caramel flavor and the vanilla flavor are delicious. They're cheaper than the Premier Protein. And I think especially like comparing apples to apples, the vanilla Equate is way better than the vanilla Premier Protein. Same with the caramel. And then for chocolate protein shakes, I really like the Fairlife ones. So there you go. There's a little rundown of all of my favorite protein things. Okay, I think that's it for food. That was like half the video. My apologies if you're not into food. I do have some other products to share with you though. I recently tried this Whey Anti-Frizz Cream. I ordered a whole bunch of products from Whey. I have been incredibly curious about that brand and I decided just to treat myself with a whole bunch of products as a little early Mother's Day gift to myself. I haven't tried them all because I am like drowning in hair products. I have a ton of them. You wouldn't know it by looking at my hair today, but I have been on a bit of a hair journey trying to figure out what works best for my hair. If you know me in real life, you know that nine times out of 10, I come to an event or a party or whatever, just like this with either a slick back, like messy bun or a ponytail 
because my hair, I've just never really known what to do with it, but I'm trying to learn. And with that has come testing out a lot of products. So far, this way anti-frizz cream of that little haul that I did, um, which you either will have seen already or is coming up soon, um, my little like way hair care haul. Um, of all the products that I purchased, this is the only one that I've like really kind of tried and tested and I love it. It does a really great job of doing just what it says, keeping the frizz away, but it doesn't leave my hair feeling like weighed down or oily or greasy or anything. Um, and it works really well. So I'm sure that you can find like anti-frizz products at a lesser cost that work just as well, but um, this one in particular I've been using and really loving, so I thought I'd give it a shout out and let you know to check out that Way Hair Care haul if you missed it. And if it's not up yet, I'll put a little thing on the screen here indicating when you can expect to see it. All right, another kind of expensive brand that I love is Necessaire. You've heard me talk about Necessaire products in favorites videos before. It's probably my favorite, like, higher end product line. Um, I really like that most of their products are scent free, made with really good ingredients. They all work really well. My absolute favorite is the body serum. I've talked about that before. Works really, really well for um, hydration. I have dry skin. I need that, um, especially in like the, the fall and winter months. But a product that I tried right around the same time as that is the body wash. And I started out with the eucalyptus body wash. As you can see here, it's just like a little sample size. It's pretty much gone. I absolutely love this. I decided when it was time to like make a purchase that I was going to try out a different scent because why not? And this is the one, um, in sandalwood. And I thought that my husband might actually like this as well. He tends to like sandalwood. This is definitely more of a masculine type scent um, that he could use and I could use as well. He wasn't really the biggest fan of this particular scent. I love it. I think it smells incredible. But what I love most about the Necessaire body wash is just how it makes my skin feel so moisturized, squeaky clean. Um, I love the bottle here. It's just one piece. It opens and closed with a little twist, so I don't have to worry about losing the cap, which I am famous for with all of my products. Um, I love the sleek packaging, and um, it just it smells incredible. It works incredible. It's an expensive, bougie-ass body wash, but if you want to treat yourself, you know, Mother's Day coming up, highly recommend the Necessaire products. I, the only product that I have tried from Necessaire that I haven't loved is their roll-on deodorant, which leaves kind of a sticky residue behind, like it takes a long time to dry down. Um, so that's not my favorite, but everything else I've tried from Necessaire has been like top notch. Um, an experience I want to talk to you guys about that I had this past month. I went to the Motown Museum, um, with my family. I'm wearing the shirt that I bought in honor of that trip. I went with not my immediate family, with my extended family who I've been trying to spend more time with. This past year, we've spent more time together than we had like the previous three years total, I think. Um, we try to get together once a month, either just at someone's house to hang out and visit, or we try to go and have an experience. And this past month, we went to the Motown Museum, which was so cool. It's right here in Detroit. The fact that I had never been is just blasphemous, really. But I went with my aunt and uncle, my cousin, and my sister. We had an amazing time touring the museum. Um, if you are in the area or you're ever visiting this area, I highly recommend you visit uh, take the tour. It's a really phenomenal tour. We had a great time um, learning about the history of Motown. Um, and I love my little shirt that I purchased with all of the, um, the record labels. So yeah, 
that was so much fun spending more time with people I love, making an effort. Life is so short, you guys. Take the time to spend time with your loved ones. Don't let it wait. Do it now. You won't regret it, I promise. Okay, is that everything I wanted to talk to you about? Nope, one more thing. I'm glad I looked around. I wanna to talk to you guys about my backpack. This I got from Amazon. It's by the brand Lavouk, maybe? Um, I love this thing. You guys saw me several years ago now talk about my laptop bag that I absolutely love. Um, I did a like what's in my bag video featuring that laptop case. I absolutely still have that, use it and love it. Um, that video, I still to this day get comments on asking like, how is the bag holding up? Do you still love it? I still love it. It's like a briefcase style bag. Um, but that's not always practical. Sometimes I just need a backpack. And so that is why I bought this one. First of all, I think the design on this is really beautiful. I've had it for over a year now. Um, it fits absolutely everything. There is a place here for my laptop. I have a big, um, I think it's a 17 inch laptop. It fits down in here perfectly. The zippers on it are really nice. I love the gold detailing with the black like faux leather with the quilted look here. Um, it holds a ton of stuff. I always keep stuff that I'm taking back and forth um, to the office in it. And it's nice and lightweight while still being really durable. I think it's really cute. Um, you can use it in a more professional setting, I think with like this um, leather look, if you work in a, like a super fancy office, I think this would still be appropriate. Um, but for the cost, like I don't mind throwing it in my car, taking it to the soccer field if I need to work on something while my son plays soccer, throwing it on the ground. This thing has been through a lot. Um, if you want a more in-depth look at this backpack or you'd like to see like a what's in my bag featuring this bag, let me know, I'd be happy to film that. But I've been using this more and more, going back and forth to the office, trying to work on YouTube videos and stuff in my spare time or on my lunch break or that sort of thing. So um, I really love this backpack and I wanted to make sure to give it a shout out. It's got something on it, but I, the other thing I love about this is that it wipes away really super easy. All right, friends, that's it for my favorites for the month. Lots of food items. I hope I didn't make you hungry. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, you want to see more favorites videos like this, give it a thumbs up. That really helps me to see that you are enjoying the content. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'd love to have you come back and I will see you guys real soon with another video. Bye.